Today, I'm going to show you how to take the most hated vegetable in the world and make it delicious. I'm going to show you my favorite way to make Brussels sprouts that do not suck, tweaking some of the mistakes that most people make when making this glorious vegetable, and show you how to make it truly delicious and a craveable dish. I grew up hating this vegetable, like just truly hating it. My mother would boil it and then serve it to us on the side and it was mushy and it was just, it looked like a little green brain and I hated it. And I run into people all the time that do not like Brussels sprouts. The key with Brussels sprouts is that, or any vegetable that you don't like, is to roast it. Roast it and flavor it with your favorite flavors to make it delicious. Any vegetable you don't like, toss it in olive oil, garlic, salt, throw it in the oven, I guarantee you, it will change everything for you. These guys are delicious on their own in a big bowl. I've eaten them like that or any side. It's so neutral that it accompanies any dish as a side really, really well. Also great for holidays like Thanksgiving, Christmas, those things. I'm Gaz the Edgy Veg and if you are new here, welcome. Your life is now better because you're here eating delicious food with me. Make sure that you hit that subscribe button if you like these types of videos. Give it a big thumbs up and let me know in the comment section below what other foods you want me to make better. All right, the first thing I'm going to do is throw these guys into boiling hot water for two minutes. All that does is, is it makes it a little bit soft, opens it up so that we don't have to roast it as long and that we get like a nice soft crispy, or a nice soft inside with a crispy outside without burning it. All right guys, so the second key to making delicious Brussels sprouts is you really wanna let this sit and drain for about 10 to 15 minutes until all the water has evaporated or drained off of them. Because when you're putting them in the oven, you want them to roast and you don't want them to steam or they will steam themselves if you have any moisture on there. And you really want that oil to be able to stick to it and get a nice crispy Brussels sprout as opposed to a steamed soft Brussels sprout. The kind of spiced oil, not even spiced, but like seasoned oil that I'm going to make, I'm just gonna make it in a bowl here. I'm going to add olive oil, garlic, salt, pepper, and just crumbled up vegan bacon. All right, I have the Brussels sprouts here. I have the seasoned oil and bacon here. And I like to throw this King's vegetarian bacon into the oil. And like a Beyond Meat burger or sausage, it doesn't actually have any of its own oil. So it'll just get really dry if you cook it just as it is. So now that it's soaking up a little bit of the oil, it'll look nice and crispy, but have more of a bacony texture. All right, before I add in the Brussels sprouts, I'm going to just slice them down the middle. That way the insides can get nice and roasted as well. And it has more surface area to sit on the pan to get nice and crispy. All right, so I've added the Brussels sprouts to the bacon and the oil. We are using the Beyond Meat sausage just after because it does have that delicious meaty flavor to it. So we'll, we're going to add that after and I'll explain how to do that in a bit. But for now, we're just going to mix our little Brussels halves with the bacon, with the oil, with the garlic. I can smell it already, that beautiful garlicky scent. Who am I, Jamie Oliver today? Using words like beautiful garlicky scent. She's poetic today. Sometimes it's a lot easier to just go in with your hands. And just really massage that garlic and the oil into the veggies. Like, is there anything better than the smell of garlic? I mean, nope. as long as it's not on someone's breath, I mean. <laughs> so now I'm just going to transfer these onto a lined baking sheet. I'm just using a silicone baking mat. You can also use parchment paper. I just like the idea of being able to reuse the mat over and over again instead of using the parchment paper once and throwing it in the garbage. Eco-friendly kitchen hacks. Also, if you can, do make sure that they are faced down. So this little guy, this face down. That way you're cooking the most surface area that you can, and then you get a nice crispy Brussels sprout. All right, we are going to toss these beautiful babies into the oven for 15 minutes. Then I'm going to take them out 
and I'm going to crumble. This is the Beyond Meat Italian sausage, just the original, not the spicy, sweet Italian, on top and give it a good toss. And that way you're getting as much browning and caramelization as you can over all of the Brussels sprouts instead of just on one side because the whole point of a delicious Brussels sprout is that you do have kind of that soft textured inside and that crispy outside. So it's almost a little Brussels sprout like chips. And I'm using the Beyond Meat sausage because it has a high oil content. It allows that flavor to run through the oil and then cook into the Brussels sprout. And crumbling up on top halfway through, the reason why I'm doing that is because it does dry out really quickly. So if I was to keep this on top from the beginning, these guys would dry out within 30 minutes as opposed to only 15. We're going to put them in for 15 minutes, take them out, give them a good toss, crumble the Beyond Meat on top, throw it back in for another 15 minutes. So if you don't have King's bacon, you can use whatever bacon is your favorite. Um, you can buy it from the store. I know Light Life has a good one. There's a couple different companies out there that you can use. You don't have to use the same one that I use. Or if you wanna make your own, you can also use my rice paper bacon. The only difference in cooking method then would be that after you've cooked the Brussels sprouts for the full 30 minutes, toss it in afterwards. So crumble it up, crumble it on top, give it a good toss and then serve it as opposed to putting it in the oven because it tends to burn. All right, friends. There you have it, delicious Brussels sprouts. They're crispy, they're charred, they are covered and smothered in beautiful vegan sausage and bacon. I'm so excited. I want a little charred piece. I like to get a little bit of everything. This is the perfect bite. This is it. Mm. Oh my God. Can you hear that crunch? Mm. That crispiness? I am truly channeling Jamie Oliver today with these adjectives and describing words. Mm. Oh my God, this is so good. Guys, if you are steaming or boiling your Brussels sprouts, stop, it is a crime against humanity. Make it like this, make it delicious. You know, you could throw some maple and tamari drizzle on here and it would be so tasty as well. So easy and customizable. All you need to know is to roast them with some oil, some garlic, some salt, and some pepper, and the rest is up to you. All right, guys, if you love these types of videos, give this video a big thumbs up. Let me know in the comment section below what food people typically don't like, and I'll try to make it delicious. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you next time. Bye.